Okay, so we're going to be using Blockly Duino Editor to write our programs that we're going to download into our Arduino. Um, so this is where we're going to write the programs. And then once we get the code for it, that's when we're going to be going to our Code Bender 2, or I'm sorry, not Code Bender, Chrome Duino 2, and we're going to be pasting our program so that we can upload it into our Arduino. Okay, so I'm just going to run through and do the test example, which will test to make sure that we have three of our LEDs that we're going to use for the stoplights connected it and working properly. So we're going to basically make them flash on and off. So to do that, once we get into our Blockly, Blockly Duino editor, we're going to be looking at our input and output, and we're also going to be using time. So these are the two, two pieces of the programming suite that we're going to be using. Okay, so to start off with, we're just going to grab our inputs and um, we connected up our LEDs. If you were observing where they're connecting to on the Arduino, they were connected up to D2, D3, and D4. Okay, so looking back at the connections, that's right here. If we were to look, here's D2, D3, D4, and if you follow the wires, D2 is the one that connects up, goes through here into the red one. D3 connects down, comes up here through this one for the yellow. And D4 connects through the blue wire or whatever color you used through this resistor to the green. Okay, so we're going to test these by writing a program to make all three of these blink. Okay, so we're going to go to input and output and we're going to use digital. And what that will mean is we're going to either input what's called a high or a low. And you can think of it this way. If we use a high, a high means we're giving it power and a low means that we're not giving it any power. We're just going to think of it in terms like that for now. So what we want to do is we want to make that pin or a port, however we want to call it, we want to make that a high so that we turn on the LED. Okay. So to do that, we're going to use this where it says digital right pin and then we're going to say which pin we want. I'm going to go with D2 to start with. And we're going to say hi. Okay. So when I use just this brick, that's going to make the LED that's red, which is connected to D2, turn on. Okay. And then I'm going to right click. I'm just going to duplicate this two more times. And I'm going to change this one to three. And I'm going to change this one to four. So I have D2 on, D3 on, D4 on. And when I say on, that's the same thing as saying high. Okay. So here we'll turn all three of them on. Now the question is, how long do we want to leave them on? Because what happens is it'll turn this one on, this one on, this one on. It'll do it super fast. It, um, the chip processes information super fast. So you won't even be able to tell that two went on first and then three went on second and four went on third. You won't even know because it happens so quick. So we'll turn all three of them on and then we'll put in a delay. Now the delay that we'll need is this one. It says delay a thousand. This is in units of milliseconds. So a delay of milli a thousand would be one second. So I'd turn them all on, wait for one second, and then I wanna turn them all off. So I'm just gonna duplicate these again because it's quicker. And I'm going to, again, change these to 2. I want this time to be off or low. Low means the same thing as off. 3, also low. And 4, also low. Okay. And so here's what would happen. It'll start up at the top. It'll do this, then this, then this. It'll wait for a second. Then it'll do this, this, this. Then we want it to wait for another second. So I'll copy this one. And then what happens when it gets to the bottom is it actually loops right back up to the very top again. And it'll just keep repeating this process over and over. If I look by clicking on the Arduino tab, this is the code that it made for us based on the blocks that we put in there. Okay. And if you want to take a look at it, you can kind of try to make sense out of what this stuff is to, if you want to learn the coding here. So I'm going to copy everything. You can't miss anything. You got to make sure you copy it all. And then I'm going to come down into my Chrome Duino and I'm going to get rid of everything that's in here. And I'm going to paste that in. Okay. 
Now, you shouldn't have to do this, but again, just make sure that if you just plugged it in, you should be seeing the USB 2.0. If you don't, make sure your Arduino is plugged in, click the refresh button, and then look again. Okay, you want this one. Um, and then for the board, you wanted the AT Mega 328P. And the server, the one that you had selected, should be the one that says Allen Taylor's right here. Okay. All right, and then after you just check to make sure that you have those settings, you can click program. Then hopefully when you're done, it'll upload. It'll say, have a nice day when you're done. And then I want you to look at your board and you should see that the lights are blinking on and off. And I can see on mine right now that it is in fact working. If yours does not, you wanna go back and double check your wiring Make sure that your LEDs are okay. And then also make sure that you did see this message, upload complete. That way you know that the program actually got to the Arduino.